in about half an hour and see how things play out. Uh, let's get going with a lot of the stock-specific analysis because that's what the day is really all about. Uh, let's pull up Z. Interesting move on the intraday charts because Z has managed to show some recovery. Even that stock at one point in time in the morning was down almost 15%. Uh, since then, of course, that cut has narrowed to about 4%, but still the street is worried. I mean, there's a big overhang now on what is going to happen with the deal with Sony. And that's because, as we all know, um, the NCLT has admitted Innocent Bank's plea seeking insolvency proceedings against Z. Basically, Innocent Bank says Z hasn't paid us what it owed us. It's amount of small, 83-odd crores. Uh, but the issue is what happens if this gets into uh, the NCLT and the insolvency proceedings start. Lata is joining in with some perspective and perhaps some of the options that could play out. Lata, do tell us more. That's important. The source is just uh, legal uh, opinion uh, uh, in the country. Now, the first thing they have to do is to go to NCLAT to ensure that the case is, the admission of the case is squashed. Because if the NCLT is admitted, then the management has to go away, the board has to go away, and a committee of creditors will take over, which obviously they cannot allow because then the merger process can't go through. Now, what the uh, what is the chances? The chances that Z has is that uh, this is not a Z loan that they have defaulted. Z had given comfort to Indusin Bank to a loan which Indusin had given to City Networks. And that is called, I mean, the, the uh, legal term for it is debt service reserve account. And Z had committed that it will keep at least one quarter of interest and principal in that account. Now, when City Networks itself defaulted, Edison wanted Z to pay up that money. And uh, Z has taken them to court. I, the case is con uh, at the moment uh, in the Delhi High Court. So the, uh, Z's argument will be that this is anyway a disputed loan and therefore the NCLT should not have admitted it. NCLAT actually has discretion. Originally under IBC, NCLAT wouldn't have had the discretion. But after a Vidarbha court judgment in the Vidarbha Industries case, the Supreme Court had given discretion to the NCLAT to allow or not allow a case. And in this case, it's possible that Z has a good chance to say that uh, uh, this case ought not to be admitted at all. Then there are, of course, other arguments that uh, Z can advance according to legal sources. The uh, uh, default happened during COVID. And at that time, uh, you know, the cases were not admitted. There was, there was a general uh, rule applied that you can't take them to the NC NCLT. So even maintainability can be argued. And of course, uh, ZK also argued that they were not even heard in the NCLT. They could only give written submissions. So in a way, it was also not uh, uh, procedurally correct that the NCLT followed. These are the arguments that we understand from legal sources. Z can follow uh, and therefore they could have a good chance according to these sources. All right, Lata, thanks.